keeping it. To New York State Assemblyman Dove Hyken, one of the first Democrats to speak out against a deal. He just returned from Israel. Uh, before we get to the way Israelis feel about this, and I think I know, why are you against the deal? Uh, simply because everything that I've read about this deal, all the people that I've spoken to, it seems so clear to me that this is a deal that will result in Iran getting a nuclear weapon. The only question is when. Do they get it early by cheating? And uh, I don't think anyone would question for a single moment that Iran is a country they support terrorism all over the world. Do you think they have a problem cheating and developing this weapon, which they are literally on the verge of having done anyway? So this is insane to do this. And I would urge my fellow Democrats, take politics out of this. I wish the president of the United States would say to the, to the Democratic Party, this is an issue of conscience. This could be the biggest mistake ever. This could be Chamberlain 1938, coming back and thinking that the world had been saved, that they fooled Hitler. Hitler was making peace. We're dealing with this regime responsible okay. for so much terrorism all so over the world. So what happens, Assemblyman, when you go to somebody like New York uh, Senator Hillebrand, and she is in favor of the deal. You must have spoken to her or other people who are in favor of the deal. What do they say to you when you come out well, and first of all, say with, what you think? With, with regard to Senator Jill Brand, I find it absolutely astounding, the position that she took, literally the same day that Schumer came out. You know, you got the senior senator from New York who told the American people, I need to study this. I need to read it. I need to talk to everyone. I need to understand it. Has she talked and, to you? And Senator Schumer comes out and says, this is horrible right. for America, He's for our friends it. in the Middle East. Senator and, Gillibrand and talked and Gillibrand, to you. Yes, the same day, Gillibrand says, this is a good deal. Well, not that good, but it's a good deal. Isn't that, isn't that insane? We're talking but about... But what does she, specifically, when you come out with your argument, which I think is very passionate, and very well put. David, what does David, she say to you? David, it's about politics. If you took out the Democratic and the Republican, if it was simply looking at the deal and being honest about it, you would have to come to the conclusion that this is the worst deal in history. This is about the president and his legacy. And let me tell you, he will have one hell of a legacy because this is not going to work. So what do the Israelis say? They must feel completely abandoned. I, at I, this I, point, I no? traveled throughout the country over the past two weeks, speaking to people from every political stripe, left, center, right. It's rare that the people of Israel, if you think we have problems in Washington with Republican and Democrats, in Israel they are divided all over the place. Generally, I have never seen the people of Israel so united. And these are the two things they've said to me. Number one, we're terrified. We are so concerned about this in terms of survival. This is not some political thing. Survival. Let me t tell you the other thing they said, which hurt me as an American someone who loves this country dearly, they said to me, and this was a general thing I found from one end of the country to the other, we feel that the United States is abandoning us. That's a pretty serious thing, and that's how they feel. So when Jews in America put all this together, the domestic concerns and concerns about Israel, do they begin to desert the Democratic Party? Hillary Clinton has suggested she's in favor of this well, deal. Well, let me, let me tell you, the, I'm a Democrat, and I know Hillary Clinton, she is the last person I would ever vote for just based on this deal. And I, I just want to say to fellow Democrats, this is an issue. If you think it's going to go away, you know, we'll do the vote. Nobody's going to remember the next time I run. This is about your future as well, because this is about a threat to our allies in the Middle East, to Israel. This is a threat to America. And I'm saying to my fellow Democrats, don't make this terrible mistake. I spoke to Jerry Nadler, to Kim Jeffries and others just yesterday, and they are conflicted. And I say to them, I know you like the president. I know you want to support the president, but this is about the future of the world we're talking about. Assemblyman Dove Hyken, thank you very much for coming and appreciate it. Thank you.